I was born in a place called Lethbridge, which is a small town, smallish town, in southern Alberta, not far in American terms. It was about a little under an hour's drive from the border with Montana. So this is not exactly the, thro the throbbing heart of North American Jewish life. There was a Jewish community there, though. This is, we weren't the only Jews. Uh, there were, at the time, about 90 families in a town of somewhere between 20 and 25,000 people. So, you know, there, there was a shul, there was all that stuff. Uh, there was all these grown-ups who, like my, my, uh, my own family, had come from Poland pretty much in the 20s and 30s. And there were a few Holocaust survivor families as well. But it was one of those things where, and Canada in this sense was different from the US, where most people a generation older than I were either the children of fairly recent immigrants or had come as kids or teenagers themselves. So what had happened in the US in the 1890s and the first decade of the 20th century happened in Canada after the passage of the Johnson-Reed Act here in 1924 when they stopped letting any number of East European Jews into the US, that's when you started to get large numbers going to Canada. So as linguistically, as far as all of that goes, Canada can be seen, it's a little, it's a little patronizing, but it can be seen as a generation or two behind the US in terms of cultural assimilation and linguistic assimilation.